<laughs> How's it going, everybody? It's me, Minecraft Markiplier. Then welcome back to Minecraft Survival. Welcome back and sit down, sit down, because it's time for a quick history lesson, my friends. In the 1860s, the American Civil War took place and ravaged the land. In the late year of 1932, the Eden War took place in Australia. And most importantly, on June 7th, 2022, or maybe it was June 8th, but in June 2022, the Wild Update released with frogs. And it is now September. It is, it is September. And this is my survival world. And it is September. 1.19. Today, friends, we will be going on an adventure, but not just any adventure, a grand, epic, large adventure. We're looking for frogs, all three of them, by the end of the episode. Leave a like on this episode, we'll guarantee you the best day ever. If you're new here, hi, welcome, subscribe, and enjoy the episode. Supplies, materials for our big, great exploration. <laughs> well, since the amazing progress that we developed in the last few episodes, I think we're basically good. Like, three stacks of rockets right there? I mean, that's kind of a lot of rockets, right? How could I need more? Eh, but just in case. I mean, you can never be too safe, right? Here's a little more. I want a map where we're going, except I don't know if I have a map made. Um, let me get the supplies. And last but not least, a little bit of paper. Like, maybe three, six stacks. Three to six stacks of paper. That should be... go oh, burn. What is that? Oh. Don't bring any frogs back to the base, or you'll burn it all down, every single building, even the non-burnable ones. Oh, Burb, oh, Burb, you're funny, you're funny. Listen, you don't scare me anymore. I've got all of my tools. You're like one hit away from, well, we'll just say you're one hit away from being in that history lesson at the beginning of the episode, buddy. I watched your tone. Uh, but now the inventory is looking a little foil. So, final, final stop, shulker box. Step one of our big adventure today has to be inside of the nether. I've got a little secret for you, but you gotta keep it secret, okay? I have no clue where I'm going at all. If we're looking for the frog, then we need to find one of two biomes. Option one, the classic swamp. But option number two, and definitely the more desirable one, the mangrove swamp. Not only are we like a million months into 1.19 uh, and no frogs at all, but also, unfortunately for us, uh, no mangrove wood at all. I would love to find a mangrove wood. So, I was thinking the mangrove swamp, the normal swamp, they both, they're like warm biomes, right? So I thought maybe we come over here and start. These are like the warmest, hottest biomes that I know of in this entire world. I think I have definitely, like, obviously come over here like a little bit. For example, we were just over here last episode. This is the desert for digging up sand. I figured if we're looking for a warm biome, we might as well start over here with the warm biomes. What else do we have? We've got a jungle, we've got an ocean, we've got a savanna somewhere back there, and a forest. Hmm, a forest. Let me, let me check that thing out. Uh, guys, look, I, I'm sorry. It happens every time I explore. I, I'm not diagnosed with ADD, ADHD, anything like that, but, like, I swear. I, I swear. Oh, that's bad. That's really, really bad loot. <laughs> I don't even want it. Actually, actually, I will take this. Anyways, I was saying before I got distracted. <laughs> you could probably take these exploration episodes as proof. I uh, like, take it to the doctor. You get diagnosed. Netherrack, no. One more piece of obsidian? Absolutely, 100% yes. So, the map that we're on right now, we're actually not on it. How about this one? No. Uh, what is that map even to, then? Oh, it's to the area by the base. Okay, okay. Well, I'm not sure, but I think we want to stay in an area that is definitely either near the ocean or near the warm biomes. The warm biomes seem to be back up this way, so let's backtrack. Maybe back onto this map a little bit. Probably following the coastline is the smartest idea, right guys? I mean, I don't know for sure, but I I feel like follow the coastline. The water leads to the water, which leads to the mangrove swamp biome. Or a desert. A desert is cool too. Hmm, I have an idea. Cactus, come with me. Got a confession. It's been so long since I've explored in anything other than a super flat world. The most exploration I've done is in a world that every block sits on Y3. Inside of a normal world, I mean, gosh, I, I think the last time we explored was probably, it was probably way before 1.19, that's for sure. Exploration with the elytra? Oh, uh, yeah, that's been even longer. That's been like maybe almost a year at this point, since Minecraft Guide Season 3, last time. I can never remember how fast the elytra actually decays. Hi, friend. 
How you doing? How are you doing? Uh, hey, 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 watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. I don't got the chest plate. Listen, friend, listen. You're gonna have to stop that. You, you're getting... I need to relieve you of this rod. I, I'm really sorry, please. Did you get it? Oh, oh, you gave me copper instead. Thanks, bestie. Well, this is interesting. I always find this really, really cool looking when you get the ruin on top of the water. Oh, that's great. There's gotta be treasure inside of here somewhere. Aha, uh -huh, treasure inside of here. Oh, look at it. It's gorgeous. It's great. And there's no lag at all. Oh, okay. All right. I got, I got you. I got you. I can't mine any of these blocks now. That, that's pretty sweet. And probably this isn't going to work either, right? <laughs> Wonderful. I broke my world. That's a great start. Oh, that was loud. That was weird, but we don't have time to question him. Let's keep moving. We'll continue to follow the coastline, maybe all the way up to the top of this map. And then maybe at some point, we'll make a bet and head out into the ocean. Having a warm ocean right over here, I mean, warm swamp biome, warm ocean, it's gotta help, right? At least logically. All right, well, can't find a chest, but I'll take a consolation prize. That beautiful crying block. Considering the fact that it's Badlands down there and Badlands up here and Badlands over there, I think it's safe to say this is all a Badlands biome, as far as the eye can see. Hmm, oh, that's crazy looking. Oh, that's really, really cool. Minecraft generation since the since the caves and glyphs update is so good. Oh, that's amazing looking I gotta remember that so I can like say I'll come back and then never do <laughs> For my next trick today, we're gonna continue to head north and make a new map now while I make that new map I'd like to introduce something a little new if you like it. Maybe we'll keep it when I record an episode of Well literally anything. I'm almost always burning either incense or a candle today I present you scent of the day at least on this series. This episode smells like a candle that smells like crisp fall nights. Oh, it smells so good. One brand new map created and crafted right over there. Let's continue. Uh, I didn't think to like think about it a little bit more, but I think in relation to the last map we were using, this has got to be like diagonally above it or something like that, but it doesn't really matter because treasure. Oh, it's been so long since I've done one of these. This will be fun. We jump right down here. We break that thing, and then we check out the loot. Ooh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's terrible. Oh, yeah, and then junk. Well, some of it's pretty cool. That's kind of cool. Unfortunately for us, I didn't plan ahead, and I didn't bring any more shulker boxes, only what I exactly needed, so we're going to have to be a little picky here. I think I'll take the horse armors, and then we'll leave. While I time-lapse a little bit of this exploration, I'd like to talk about, uh, well, <laughs> exploration and how much I actually love exploration. Maybe one of my favorite parts about a new Minecraft update is when you get these new biomes and new things that you have to go out in the world and find. I, I know it's kind of ironic me saying that like a couple months later, but truthfully, one of the reasons we were waiting for so long is because, I mean, it's like one of my favorite things and you gotta save some of the good stuff, right? Exploring to find those new things is definitely one of my favorite parts about a new Minecraft update. What's your favorite part about an update? Let me know down below. Alrighty, so development. I think I found one of the coolest villages that I've ever seen. It's surrounded by the eroded Badlands biome. The desert, of course, obviously, is sitting on a river right there. We've got cats all over the place, really cool. And then a savanna in the background. Unfortunately, I've left this brand new map. I think what I want to do is stay maybe a little closer to the water. Kind of forgot about that. So we're going to make another map. So somewhere in this town, I've got to have a banner, right? Like somewhere, one of these buildings. No banner, no banner. All right, well, I'll try and remember this one too. Minecraft generation is weird. It's a little bit inconsistent. It's, oh, there's a mine shaft cutting through the eroded battlelands. That is so cool. Uh, anyways, generation is crazy, weird, sometimes not predictable. However, it's made improvements since 1.18. I think it's important that we maybe stay closer to the ocean, to the water. Eh, maybe? Okay, uh, well, um, maybe I, maybe I take that back. This is definitely not what we need. 100% no. And with that, I developed a new plan. Seeing biomes that definitely were a little bit less warm than before, I decided it would be smart to maybe backtrack a little bit. Without a clue as to where to go, I think our best bet for finding this biome is in South of the Tropics.
All right, well, I think I've run into a little bit of a problem. And by problem, I mean like two problems. Uh, so first things first, check out the map. I, I just sailed the bay, decided to make a boat just to conserve the elytra a little bit. And it looks like over there on that side, it's like a savannah and then a plains bottom and a jungle. So like same thing as before. This way, it seems to all be a desert. Uh, other problem is I have no clue how I'm actually going to bring the frogs home. I didn't bring slime balls. I didn't bring any of that. Uh, whoops. <laughs> uh, that's my bad. Okay, so next up, I think it's going to be following the rivers that cut through these biomes as long as they stay near warm biomes. When it comes to bringing the frog home, thinking about the options that I have, the only option that I could think of that is maybe convenient would be finding one of those sick pandas over here that, you know, spit up the slime. Oh, that's crazy. I've never seen one of these buried like that. That's awesome. Uh, anyways, we find one of those sick pandas over here that maybe spits up the slime ball every once in a while. Uh, really unlikely, but we find that it spits up a slime ball. Then we wait, it does it again, and boom, two slime ball. But I don't see any panda here, so that's not going to work. The other option that I can think of is find a swamp biome, wait around for nighttime, take a couple slime out. I think that's a lot more likely. Oh my gosh, my guy. <laughs> what have you gone through? I'm really sorry about that. That looks like terrible. Uh, it's not my job, but... Sorry about that. That looks bad. And look, I have no clue how I'm just now remembering this, but render distance. We should definitely go ahead and up them. We need to be able to see everything, so I don't miss anything. Slowly, nighttime is setting in on the world, but with the slime plan in mind, I think we might as well just go ahead and leave it nighttime. It would be terrible if I slept right now and then ran into a swap file and had to wait a whole day. Not good. Now, water. This is good. This is really good. That's a great sign, and uh, speaking of signs, what was I literally just saying? No, no, they can't get any more perfect. I was just, look, the sun's not even gone yet. I was just saying, what if I find a swamp biome, and then it's nighttime, and I find a swamp biome, and it's nighttime? This is beautiful. I hope that somewhere inside of this biome, we've got to have a frog, right? And thinking about slime spawning, I really hope that somewhere inside of this biome, one slime, or two slime, or three, or four, five slime, heck, five slime. Uh, hold on, hold on. My game is literally lagging every time I cross a chunk. And I don't think it's the render distance either. One fresh reload, and <laughs> hopefully that'll be better. So, so anyways, I don't even know what I was saying, but I need slime. I really hope that somewhere inside of this swamp biome, there's at least enough space for, like, one slime to spawn. And also, it's so dark. Oh, almost didn't see that. Yeah, 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 it's that dark that I, yep, yeah, that's my bad. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move away from that thing, and maybe, actually, all of this really quick. Over to this smaller swamp biome that 100%, if I didn't up that view distance, I, I probably would have missed, like, all of this. Or, well, maybe not this one, but definitely that one. So let's see, the, the big slime spawning inside of this thing, it, it's gonna be unlikely. It's too crowded here for them. But the small slime, that might happen. And also, frogs? Uh, there's gotta be at least one frog here, right? <laughs> right? It's not just a... No, this is bad. Look, friends, this is really bad, actually. Moving through the swamp biome, and... Skeleton. This is not good. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. We travel all this way. We find the swamp biome. And we get the mangrove saplings, and, and that's that's great. But where the slime? Where are the frog? Like like the frogs? Oh, it's not good. I can find and practically feel the propagules, and even carry some of the propagules home for the tree. Oh, and, and that's great. It's beautiful and it's wonderful. The frogs? No. No, no, no. My disappointment with this situation, eh, revelation, the eh, discovery, it is, well, it's, it's big. It's big to say the least. I feel a little bit cheated. Hey, hey, wait a second. I mean, I guess there's this. <laughs> At least that's a consolation prize, a temple right here. Simply put, this place is one of the best discoveries of all time. But without any slime to breed the frog, and of course, without any frogs at all, then this entire small biome to actually bring home with us, what is it worth? It's worth nothing. I'm feeling heavy with a sense of extreme sadness and disappointment, and an inventory that is all the way full. I decided it was time we head back to the base. Hey, I mean, <laughs> at least I found pretty much the coolest Badlands biome ever on the way home. I guess that's nice. 
Back over at the base, I've cracked up a new plan. This map that is, I think, right below our base right now. What if maybe we were able to just move onto this map right by home, up the render distance a bunch, and just look around? That will be our next plan. But before I go ahead and pull that one off, what I think we're going to want to do is make a quick visit over to our super creeper farm in the sky and grab a little bit more gunpowder. No chance I'm going to run out of rockets. Now I'm actually fresh back from the belay spawner in the nether. I decided to fix up the elytra a little bit so we can basically fly forever again. Rockets do take up a lot of space, so I'm just going to leave it as gunpowder and put it inside of that box right there. That should be pretty good. Put that back, run over here, and this time, absolutely not forget the slime bomb. We're going to need at least two of them, maybe a little bit more. Options, video settings, render distance, 64 chunks. Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. Come on, you got it. Yay, 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 yay. You got it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, there we go. So with 64 render distance and a brand new map, let's just go ahead and soar down this way, let things load in, maybe stand on top of a mountain or something, and take a look. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a lead, because at this point, I've exhausted all of my leads. I, I literally have no clue where to go now. N none at all. Okay, so looking around us, as things start to load in, I think I'm seeing a clear, obvious direction that we should be going. So, uh, over this way is a way that I've gone quite a bit. There's a meadow biome, things like that, it's pretty dry. Obviously, that way is where we came from. Uh, down to this way, it looks like there's even more cold biomes, which is definitely not it, but it is good to know about. But over this way, uh, over this way, it seems like we have a dark oak forest biome. Look, it's really not Bruh. what I'm looking for, but I guess this is... Bruh. I guess this is the way, it's all we got. Maybe as a consolation prize, I would accept, like, a woodland mansion or something. A woodland mansion could be a pretty nice development, a, a good find, if things actually load in. Oh, no. It's scaring me. <laughs> and a meadow biome, and we're off the map. I don't know if I should even bother to make a new map. Look at the bases so far. Can't lie, I'm, like, so disappointed with how that went. We actually went to thousands and thousands of blocks, found a mangrove swamp biome, found the new saplings and everything, only to find zero frogs at all. Like, that literally should be illegal. That, that shouldn't be a possibility. It shouldn't work like that. I don't like it. Maybe what I'll do, I guess, is go from, like, mountain to... Oh, we're going to the water. Oh, 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 we're not going to water. No, I take it back. I take it back. We're not going to water. No, friends. No, 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 no. We're going to a beautiful place. A warm place. A humid place. The plain old swamp. Look, it is no mangrove swamp at all. But we do technically have the chance to find a frog here. And it's big and open, which means, I guess, at the least, I could set up a slime farm here in the future. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. I'm thoroughly enthralled, enthralled, lads. So, lads, this is the, possibly the best thing ever. Not only best thing ever, but this is also the very first swamp biome of this entire world that we're finding. I don't think we've ever found a single swamp biome before. I mean, uh, other than the disappointment that we, we won't ever talk about again after today. Uh, yeah. So frogs, inside of the swamp biome that got an update, but actually didn't change at all. Please, there's gotta be at least like one or two frogs here. I just need two. On the bright side, it looks like it's gonna be really, really big. I have 64 renders and still, and it just goes and goes and goes. I guess the smartest move is start at this far end of the swamp and make our way through the whole thing until we find a frog. Uh, I heard something. <gasps> Oh, it's right in front of me. It's right in front of me. Stay calm. Stay calm. We have frogs, but it's not only one frog. This is a literal flock of frogs. We have so many frogs here. Hey, friends. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, so listen, listen, all of you. It's great to meet you. There are so many of you, too. I think we're going to have it right here. Listen, uh, what I'm going to need is, like, all of you to follow me over to your nearest bin of water, your body of water. Let's go. Come on, come on. We're going to need a little more than three. What I think I want to do here is breed these frogs. We breed at least uh, two. Then that'll give us, give us one set of tadpole we breed two more that's another one and we breed two more that's the final set of tadpoles and i just go to the biomes and grow them up <laughs> piece of cake oh it's all up here from here hi beautiful friends hello hello here for you and for you now you you need a friend and we got to be careful to not step on that thing that's right if we step on that the not good things happen so frog hey okay, come okay, come come with me come with me i can't lie guys i was starting to lose hope here i was trying to think of an alternative project that we could work on to finish up the episode but no no it doesn't matter uh so listen don't be greedy who already ate uh you didn't and, and you definitely didn't all right you stare at each other it's great it's beautiful and then one of you make your way over to the water. While I wait for that tadpole stuff to go ahead and cook up, what we're going to need... Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it. Now that I think about it, I don't even need to breed all these frogs. I'm wasting slime ball. 
more than one tadpole comes out of the tadpole egg, right? Like, as soon as this thing hatches, then, then we get, like, a couple of tadpoles, not just one. Or, or wait, no, 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 no. Did they change that back? Ah, I can't remember. It's been so long. It's a waiting game now. That's all it is. We stand around here, we watch these frog eggs. Eventually, they hatch, and right away, we snatch. I guess while we wait, I can talk about today's comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is not actually from one person. It's from a lot of different people about the creeper farm. I keep seeing comments about it. So the creeper farm, there are definitely some inefficiencies that I didn't even think of when I set it up. I only realized it once I saw your comments. One of them is definitely going to be the... Oh, you can see through it. Uh-huh. Interesting. I wasted a lot of trapdoors. I made way more trapdoors than I needed to, and then I obviously didn't add the buttons into the farm either. If I added the buttons in, I would have been able to conserve on even more trapdoors, and I didn't even think about it when I was setting the farm up. I'm thinking about going back to the farm and maybe adjusting a few things. I could take some trapdoors back, but at the least, maybe add a couple buttons to it. If you left any comments about the creeper farm design and maybe some improvement ideas, then big thank you to you. You're the comment of the day. Okay, so, uh, friends, <laughs> listen, listen, it's getting to be the middle of the night here. Really need you to hurry up a little bit. I, I, I think I want to leave at nighttime so I can go ahead and, you know, like, hunt a little bit of the slime here. But, uh, please, please, <laughs> hurry up. I don't have much time to spare. Oh, oh, I heard you. Yes, yes, there's so many for me, this thing. Oh, there's so many. I thought so. I thought so. Okay, listen, all of you, every single one of you, you're coming home with me. And you know, since I made a couple of these things, then I, I might as well take them all. But where do they swim off to? And oh, listen, list don't know. Okay, good, 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 good. So tell me this, if I hold the slime ball in my hand, will they swim back over to me? Because I kind of lost them. I thought there was at least one more. Like there, there definitely was. <gasps> there it is, there it is, it swam back over. Maybe it came to me because of the slime ball, maybe it didn't, who knows? Look at this, look at this. We're in the middle of the swamp, which means I can finally hunt slime. Should I set up a slime farm inside of the swamp? Is that a good idea, guys? Or is that is that a really bad idea? Let me know. Oh, it happened. It happened. It happened. Get back here. Get back here. And get back here. I think that's all I need. With six tadpole in hand, let's get out of here. Let's wrap this project up. Home, sweet home. Here we are. The great beet farm. And now it's raining. <laughs> great. At this point, finishing up our project today is pretty simple. All we've got to do is set up a couple frog boxes. There's not too much to these frog boxes. The only important thing here is that we build them in the correct biomes. The first biome we're going to need is a temperate biome, or in other words, a biome that isn't warm, but isn't cold. Something like the plains is perfect. We build a small box on the ground that has water inside of it that the tadpole won't be able to get outside of, and then we go ahead and close that thing in. Then we just give it a little bit of time. The tadpole will eventually grow up into full frogs, and with a fully contained box, they'll be trapped. They won't be able to go anywhere. Down below this thing, just to solid it up. You know, I don't want any glitches happening here. I'm gonna fill some blocks in. And there we go. There's really not much, but I think it's perfect. It should do. We'll have two tadpoles inside of this one, let them grow up into fully grown orange frogs. Next button we need, it's gotta be cold. Aesthetically, I think the green frog is my favorite frog. I, I don't know what it is about it, like the coloration or something. I, I just love it. To get the green frog, we need to set up a frog box inside of a cold place, like maybe this spot right here. If we go ahead and dig a couple blocks out right here, maybe put that sandstone on the bottom again. That was pretty clean. Build up the side as much as possible so the stuff doesn't freeze over. And then drop a tadpole or maybe two inside of this one, close it up. We should be good. All I'm going to need to do is AFK around here, give it a little bit of time, and eventually I'll get green frogs too. Last but not least, our final frog of the day today. This is going to be a little bit more tricky than these ones, but it still shouldn't be too bad. We're going to need to find a warm biome, specifically something like eh, the Stony Peaks, the desert, the savanna, or maybe the jungle. Speaking of the jungle, I know of a jungle that is pretty close to the base. It's like right over here somewhere, and it's connected by water. I'm thinking we could basically go over to this jungle right here, set up a small frog box, place that tadpole down, then give it a little bit of time, just wait for a little while, that'll grow up into a warm frog, and just like that, we'll have all three frogs. So, uh, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, or you know what, I'll be back right now because I just thought about this. Look at this, the slime ball. I'm pretty sure, definitely sure, that I can just go ahead and give this thing slime balls. Each slime ball should speed up the growth a little bit, so give it like, I don't know, maybe 10 slime ball, and then it should grow up pretty quickly. Mm, 
Go ahead. Go ahead, little buddy. So grow up whatever you want. Oh, it is perfect. Hello, frog friend. Hello. You took a long time still. Almost the whole day. But hi. 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 hi how you doing? Go ahead and, yep, hop right into that boat. I'll just go ahead and leave your original home here. But, oh, trust me, buddy. Trust me. I got something way better for you than that little place. So, which way is home sweet home? Mm, this way. This way is home sweet home. By the water. So this is pretty straightforward. All we need to do is roll this frog right back over to home. And then I need to wait again. Ah, uh, here we are. Home sweet home. It swiftly and quickly approaches. Now that we're back over here, frog friend, you wait right there in your boat. I'll come back for you soon. Over here at the base, what we need to do is insanely, insanely simple. All that I'm going to need to do is wait around somewhere. I'm pretty confident that like anywhere in between the two frog boxes we set up should have both of them loaded. It's time to wait. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. That's frog number two of the day. One green one is good. I fed that one a bunch of slime ball. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. So, uh, for this one, I think I can just leave it inside of this cage. It should be fine. I don't think it can get anywhere. So, you wait there. I'll come back for you later. Now, all that that means is we need to get one final frog. And conveniently, this is a frog that we have already seen before. The good old, the classic, the orange frog. I fed one of these ones a little bit of slime ball, but now we wait again. And also, it's raining. It just keeps raining today. With the slow but inevitable growth of my third and youngest child, that is going to do it for our project today. Three Minecraft frogs, every single color, over here at our base. The next big step might just be trying to come up with some kind of wonderful home for our three new friends. But that's a job for another time. Thank you all so much for watching. Smash like, subscribe if you haven't. It's been me, Froggles. Thank you for watching. End card is the series playlist. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.